This is Dan Havey, and in this video, we are going to go through more of the uh, Secrets of Success affiliate training, and we're going to talk about a share file I'm going to uh, give you. It will be in the email uh, that you received this uh, link to this video in as well. So uh, first off, forgive my voice. I came back from Funnel Hacking Live. I have laryngitis and quite possibly COVID, um, so just uh, forgive that. So what we got here is we got our share funnel. And uh, you're probably just going to want to leave most of this stuff exactly alone the way it is. So we got Secrets of Success up here as a name. And you see that there, publishing. I always put a little loading at the end there, even though that really won't be important because you're just going to give somebody the main link to this page. You, of course, need to come in. And, of course, this is 1.0. Uh, you're going to need to come in and give it your own domain in here. And then when you give this out to somebody, you just want to grab a hold of this without the loading at the end. Just give them that. And, in fact, I will uh, copy that right now because we're going to need that in a second. So now um, all this is uh, set up in here. So what we need to do next is we need to come into the page itself because, again, there's not a whole lot you're going to have to do in here because I'm giving in the share funnel on this so what i did is i made a page that looks very similar to the uh, secrets of success jv page and so we got a black uh, across the top here we got this background image and so when somebody comes to the page that we're looking at right here it's going to load up and look very similar to what they're going to end up landing on. It's just that the, um, the images, the video, and all that will paint um, over the top of what we're going to start with on the page. Now, the only real thing you have to set up in here is a couple minor things. You're going to come in here to manage, and I'm sorry, not there, up here to rows right here. And we're going to manage the rows, and we're going to turn on this row right here. And this little row right here pops in. It's on an animation. It pops in after five seconds. And this is only here just in case the other way of loading the page or, or redirecting us, I should say, does not work. So if you are not redirected automatically, follow this link. So they click on that. And right in here, you want to put in the link to your affiliate so your affiliate link is going to go right here. And let me just show you what your affiliate link is going to look very similar to. And yours will look very similar to this. And one thing I noticed is that when they typed in this link here, they forgot to put the S. So change this to HTTPS. Um, it should work. I mean, it has been working for me. Otherwise, I've got over 300 referrals, um, or these are actually people who visited my site. Uh, it was working just fine. But when you're putting it in this page, just make sure you put that S in there after the P. And so we're going to grab that link, and we're going to put that in right here. So this is like the suspenders and this uh this uh, program here. But as long as you have this row open, we also want to come over here to our elements. And again, we want to click on that and manage the elements and just open up this minute countdown timer. You don't need to show it on the page. You just need to click on it to open it up. And again, right here, you are also going to want to drop in your affiliate link right there as well. Then we're going to come back. We're going to close out this row or hide this row, I should say. And then we are going to save our page. And then you're going to want to come over here to your settings, your SEO metadata, open this up. And in here, I have the meta title set as Secrets of Success, and that's what will show up in the um, right up in here. And in fact, I'm actually on the uh, wrong page. So let's go over here. And what I'm going to do then is come in here to my images and put that image in there. So in here, we got the meta title. We got our meta description. This description matches what is on the top of this page here. Of course, you can change the meta title, the meta description if you wish. And you can also change out the social image. But I will leave mine in there. If you want to use them, you'll go right ahead and use them. This is a picture of the box I received and took it to a picture of it right here on my desk so otherwise then we're are we are going to save this and that is really all the editing you have to do at this point here now i have not 
put my links in here, so I will show you my live page right over here. And if I click on preview now, it will forward me to the um, JV landing page for this program. So that's exactly what we want it to do. In fact, let me do that, and we will close out that window. So there's nothing else you need to do uh, in here at this point. But there is one more thing you want to do, and I will do this with uh, the link on my other one because I have an actual uh, domain set on that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab off the bit again before the loading. So I'm going to copy that. And then let's open up a new tab, and I'm going to go to uh, the... Um, um, Facebook debugger tool, and I'll leave a link in the email as well. We're going to come here. We're going to drop in that URL, and we're going to click on debug. Now, had this thing never been run through before, they'd have a little warning message right here, and it says something, but the button says fetch information, I think is what it says. So that would be like right up here. So click on that. This one here is not populated yet. It should have. I'm not really sure why it hasn't, but uh, we'll click on scrape again. You may have to do this a few times in order to get this to work. So right now, for some reason, it's not wanting to work. In fact, it should have populated properly because I've done this before and it, uh, it had already been populated. Once you populate it one time, it, generally speaking, continues to work. But I know Facebook was having some troubles earlier and it crashed on me, so that could be a problem. Or maybe it's because it's saying here it has a corrupted image, could not be processed and may be corrupted. Huh. All right, let me just pause here again for a second. Okay, the uh, other URL did not want to play nice, so let's just try this one here. And see, here's the fit, fetch new information, so we're going to click on that. And now this time it should work, and boom, there you go. So now this is what your social media is going to look like when you drop it in there. Um, you got your meta title, description, and your image right there. So that's what it will look like. So that's it. Just uh, click on, on the link, download this into your uh, ClickFunnels 1.0 account, and you'll be off and running. If by chance you don't have a ClickFunnels 1.0 account and all you have is 2.0, uh, or if you, if you don't have a uh, 1.0 account at all, just click on the link. It'll set it up. You'll get a 14-day free trial, and uh, you'll be able to use this to do your promotions with. If all you have is a 2.0 file, um, uh, uh, whatever, like I said, I got COVID's going on here. So if you got a 2.0 account only, uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh, and hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit better, I'll um, uh, bang out one of these for 2.0 as well. So if you've got any questions, just... Uh, just DM me on Facebook is the best way to find me.